What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We got an animal today, a dog. So we're gonna do a pug pup, um, young pug. So uh, let's go, landscape page, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand. So real big eyes, right? So we're gonna start with those big eyes that are kind of far apart, okay? So big bitty eyes. Center point of my page about here, come up over to the right hand side and we will start with a big curved line. So we'll go up and around the eye, right? So it goes down like this. It's a kind of straight and then curves around back this way. Because this is like the tear duct area of the dog's eye, right? So it kind of has a point here. And then this comes down underneath his eye. Right, like that. So then in here we got this sort of black kind of skin area. So you just shade that in. And then the iris and the pupil. So big black beady eyes kind of so. Just a big curve line there. And then we just thicken up maybe this just because we can't really see much. His eyes are really dark. I'm going to give him a pupil, but it's hard to see. You could do it all black maybe if you wanted, but I'm going to give him a big pupil. And I'm going to add a highlight just up here, right? So. What I'm going to do is draw in the white highlight first, just like a white circle, and then the pupil coming around. And we'll do a long sort of thing. Something like that, and maybe color it in black. Like that. Now, if you want, you can add a shadow on the top underneath his eyelid. So what I mean by that is you can add some like hatching lines just up here. So some of these lines just on the top of the eye and they kind of get further apart from one another when we go down. So see, they kind of just get lighter as we go down the side of the eye. You can go in many different directions, but you want the top to be kind of darker and then kind of gradually getting a little bit lighter as we go down. Okay, it just gives a bit of shape to the eye, that's all. So then around the eye, so we've got like some eyelid lines and eyelash lines and things. So like say, coming around here, we've got like, maybe like eyelashes a little bit here. Right, kind of like that. And then maybe one just coming down from the inside of the tear duct. And these can be sort of hairy lines, sort of sketchy lines. You know, kind of like that. There's more details around the eye, but we'll just go over and do the other eye first. Now, real far apart. So I'd say like once, twice, like two eyes. One. Two. We'll bring it roughly to where the next eye starts, right? They're really far apart. And then we'll do the same thing again. So curve it up and around. And this side is pointy. And then we bring it down around towards the other side. Add the dark tear duct. And then draw a line here for where we can see a little bit of his iris. Now they're not perfect circles, these iris lines. They're sort of elongated a little bit. 
and then I'm just going to darken up this section here as well. And then the pupil, but again, we'll add the highlight first. So just like a white circle here and then a big pupil. Color this black. And then you can add some hatching, some shadow lines, just on the top of the eye. And coming down sort of here. All right, kind of like that. And then we'll add some details just around the eye as well. So we have like an eyelash line like for the eyelid there, bottom. Eyelid line like that. So the nose then is right in the middle of these eyes, right? So you're just going to go a curved line around here. And then we have nostrils on the sides. So this kind of curves around, goes up. So, and then this will be kind of darker and then it goes to this B sort of section. So, so like this kind of curves around to here and this is black, real small noses. All right, and then this kind of comes around from here to a short little V. Sort of shape here and then a line up the middle and some detail lines just coming around the nostril just add some dots and hatching and things just some texture on it like so so then from the nose, so we go down to his lip, right? So down there. And then this will come around. The bottom like this. Gets kind of furry a little bit here. Same thing, curve around. And this will eventually go back up to the inside of the nostril, sort of these. Back up into there. And he's lots of wrinkles on his face now, so we'll just do what we can kind of see of them. So it goes like into there. So his chin kind of so say like it comes it comes down from here right and there's lots of wrinkles and details and stuff inside but we'll just get the main shapes first and then he's like an extra sort of skin area here and then another one here Right, and if you want, like maybe like some shadow underneath this lip. Just thicken this up. A 
then we have some like weak lines and and stuff like that. So we'll get sort of the shape for the face and then we'll fill in some details and then we'll do the ears. So another sort of hairy kind of furry line just going up around towards the eyes here. And this will like go underneath the ears somewhere here. Okay, similar on this side. close to the eyelashes and then disappears kind of underneath his ears somewhere here so we'll just add a few more details now around the nose and wrinkles and things like this so we have like another sort of squished up kind of wrinkle line here a couple of these another line going around this way there's like some dark shadow inside this one. And this kind of comes down his face here as well. And then we have like a fold of skin kind of that comes across the eyes and down. So like it comes across here and it's kind of like a hairy line. Like say up the middle and around. So it just comes down around his face here. And kind of putting some fur texture and stuff on it as well. Right, and then on his face, he's got these all these whisker dots that go down around his face here. So, and then he has like a sort of a cheek area, right? A line that goes up just kind of around his eye here. His fur on it, and like the line going up there, kind of like bags underneath his eyes. So, just going around the eye, kind of a hairy line. like so and then some more details around the eyes so we've got like a big sort of patch of like fur just here and then a big sort of eyebrow area here kind of gives them that sort of sad kind of look in their eyes like another eyelid line here Right, like so, and then another big eyebrow patch there, and then a downturned line coming down here, and then some more going across. Now I'm using like short sort of lines to do this, kind of hairy, sketchy lines. 
And like the outside, I'll, I normally do thicker sort of lines like that. Where I want there to be a darker line, I'll just press a little bit harder, thicken it up. And usually your texture on the inside, apart from shadows like this line here, they'll be lighter and the shadows darker. So then the ears, right? So we've got like ears that come down just here, right? Across his head. Right down like that. Another one over this side. Right, and there's like a bit of a shadow inside here. So like the, the forehead sort of comes down towards the, the ear here. This will be like all dark inside because the ears folded over and there's no light getting in here, right? So it's real dark. You can do sort of the same thing on the other side. Right. And then extra lines for the edge of the ear. So kind of flops over. The edge of it comes down this way. And like so. And then another bumping line coming around like this. To there. And like some more folding lines there. around this side too. All right, kind of like that. And then top of the head. So he's kind of, he's got all these bumping fat kind of, he's got a fat head. <laughs> Bumps around to the ear there. And I'll just thicken up, clean up the edge. And then add some more of these sort of folding kind of furry fat lines here. And then like, like a forehead sort of line coming up this way, hairy one. Right, kind of like that. And you can add as much texture and stuff as you want. Uh, dots and dashes and things to make them look a little bit furry. But that's basically how to draw a pug face. And um, we'll do the body now. So we'll just go down for neck and shoulders, make it kind of hairy looking. Right, so neck sort of bumps out that way. Uh, maybe that Bumps it this way. Right, and then it's back, we'll go off here. Like so. And then his chest goes that way. And then we can have like extra sort of furry sort of sections and you know, like lots of hair and wrinkles and things. Add sort of simple texture lines here. Neckline coming around like so. And then thickening up around your edges. Move my page. And you can do as much of this as you want. It's, a, it's an optional step, really. Sometimes it helps the drawing stand out a little bit more. And then we just add like a couple of whiskers on them. 
feel like he's got some whiskers coming out from the face there, actually. Put it in there. That way. Across like so. Right, and that is basically that. How to draw a pug. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.